What's up guys, Justin here back again with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a hologram effect in Mondashef Mora 12. Now, I've already done a hologram effect in Wondershare before, but I actually did it in Wondershare Filmora X, and I had a subscriber request an updated version of the hologram effect. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. And I might do something just a little bit differently with this effect. So yeah, there isn't much else to say, so let's just get straight into the tutorial. All right, so the main things that you're gonna need for this effect is not much at all actually all you really need is your footage the thing that you want to be the hologram you can have some sound design as well but really the only two things you need is the footage of you pretending to put out the hologram and the object that you want to come out of the hologram device so i've got my clip here that i'm just going to drag into my timeline so you just cut your clip however you would like i'm just going to go ahead and cut mine how i like Okay, so I've just cut down my clip here. There isn't really much to show here. It's just me walking into this shot and pulling up my hologram device. I, th I honestly think I moved it around for a bit too long since the effect is very simple, but um, since I'm showing you guys the motion tracking way of doing it, I decided to move it around for a while. Also, I hope you like my Spider-Man hat. <laughs> anyway, this is my clip, and now I'll show you how to do the effect properly. So grab whatever sort of thing that you want to use to come out of the hologram device. Just be another video that you want to motion track, which technically that's what this is right here, but this is the effect right here that I'm going to be using. Now, it's not like anything too special. It's just a, it's just a little video, an effect that I got from the website Production Crate. I showed this website in a previous video and it has a, a lot of VFX and sound effects and music and stuff to choose from. So I really recommend this site if you want to get some free VFX and some better ones that you have to pay for. But anyway, this is the video that I have right here. It doesn't look special right now because it's just floating over my, over my clip here. So I'll show you how to do it. The first thing that I'm going to do though, it might make the effect look a little bit weird but I'm going to slow it right down because the video is far too short to go along with how long I'm actually holding the hologram up for. So I'm just going to make this video really slow. Now the FPS isn't too high on it so it'll look really weird but this is basically the only way that I have to do mine. But if you're just doing a video you don't really have to worry about this but yeah. Alright, I've just made my clip really slow, so when I play it, it'll look kind of weird because of how slow it is. But, yeah, as I said, this is really the only way that I can actually do it. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but, yeah. Anyway, so, the first thing that you want to do, well, the first thing that I'm going to do is actually just drag this away from my clip. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to move the timeline bar right just to where you're about to finish holding up the hologram device and then what you want to do is you want to click on the clip and click this little scissors icon here to split it and you want to drag it all the way to the end until you pull it down and then just split it again so you have like a separate clip here for when you're actually holding it up and then just the excess clips from when whether you're walking into the shot or walking out of the shot however your clip goes but anyway so what you want to do is you want to double click on the clip and you want to go to this little icon here which is the motion tracking tool and you just want to click that now once you're on that 
you want to select this little rectangle thing you can change it you can change the size of it you can make it small you can make it big sometimes if you make it too big or too small it won't track onto your object properly but I'm gonna make it about this big so I think this is just the perfect size for this effect right here and then once you've got it locked on to your device what you want to do is you want to go over here and click the click the start motion track button and then you click that and you just let it motion track onto the device and you can see that it's just tracking it so it'll just take a bit but depending on how long a clip is it might be short it might be long I don't know all right now my object has now been motion tracked as you can see when I move this along the timeline you can see that it's fully tracked to my object now what you want to do is you want to grab your clip that you want to motion track onto the device and drag it over the top of your motion track clip just like that over the top okay now what you want to do is you want to click on your motion track footage right here and where it says motion tracking you want to click this little arrow if it hasn't already been clicked once you click that you have a couple settings here now you want to go to link element and drop down this and find your video now this is the name of the video that I have above my clip here and once you click that it will automatically be tracked to your object which is really cool but it's in a really weird position right now so something you can do is you can select your clip that you want motion tracked and you can put it wherever you'd like you can put it all the way over here and it'll still go along with the movements that you're doing which is really funny but for the sake of the video to actually make it look good I'm just going to put it slightly above my device here and you can make it as big as you want or as small as you want I'm just going to keep it around this size here I think this is a pretty good size now it just looks like you're holding a hologram and I think that looks really cool now something seems a little bit off it doesn't really match the lighting it doesn't really look too believable right now so something that you can actually do to improve the effect is select your clip that's motion tracked right here and if you're in the basic setting of video scroll down to drop shadow turn that on now you may be thinking justin why would you put drop shadow on a hologram i think that's meant to be lit up but there's actually a trick you can do with drop shadow so my hologram effect is like a greenish color so what i'm going to do in the drop shadow setting is i'm going to make the color of the drop shadow a greenish color now what this does is it actually gives it the illusion that it's emitting light from the hologram now i can make it a little bit brighter if i want just to give it more of a glowy sort of effect so i think i'll go with this sort of lightish greeny aqua color now you can turn down the opacity or you can turn up the opacity and you can turn blur all the way down but that looks really silly because it's basically like a direct copy of what you've got so you want to make it pretty pretty blurry not too blurry or else it'll just not look like anything so just make it to the type of blur that you want and then put the distance the distance of the shadow all the way to zero which gives it sort of a glowy sort of effect now as i said don't put the blur down to zero or else it won't look like anything and don't put it all the way up because it won't look like anything put it to a point where it kind of looks like it's glowing which kind of actually gives the illusion that it is a hologram now if you think it looks kind of weird and blurry you can turn the opacity down of it a little bit but if you turn it down it just looks kind of fake but it's honestly up to you in these settings you can go all out with however you want so i'm just going to mess around with these settings and then i'll get back to you guys when i'm done Alright, I'm pretty satisfied with how my hologram effect is looking and if you actually want to you can click onto your motion tracked video and you can actually turn the opacity down if you want but this is totally up to you if you want to make it look even more faint but I honestly think that it looks much better if it's turned all the way up or just a little tiny bit down because if you turn it all the way down it won't look like anything but if 
you turn it all the way up, I think that actually gives it more of an illusion that it's a hologram because the hologram is supposed to emit light. So it being on the brightest setting, I think, is the most realistic, but it's your guy's effect, so you can do whatever you want with it. Another thing that you can do to make the hologram effect look even better is go to the transitions tab. Look for a transition that you'd like to have for the hologram when it's opening up because at the moment it's kind of just there. There's no real effect to it that's making it look realistic. So you can go with a dissolve effect if you'd like to have like a little dissolve effect where it just fades in or you can just have a little glitch effect which is what I might actually go with right now. I think a glitch effect will look really nice. Okay, so the transition that I've went with is this little glitch effect and then to finish it off you can even use the same transition at the end for when you're turning the hologram off. Now, I probably should have made the, the effect go with how I'm flipping this down, but it doesn't really matter that much. Now that the effect is basically done, there are still some improvements that you can do to make it even look more realistic, and that is actually changing the colour of the video itself to sort of match the colour and the tone. It's not super realistic that the whole room would light up with the hologram, but just to maybe give it a slight bit of realism, you can do that. So. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the footage that I have below my gun hologram here and I'm going to go to the color tab and I'm going to turn the temperature down to sort of match that color of the hologram to the bluish sort of section and on the tint one you can even put it down to like a greenish sort of effect to match that sort of color and you can even brighten that just a little bit as well. Now obviously that creates a huge change, but this is totally up to you guys. So I'm going to add a dissolve effect right here for when it actually changes colour. Now since this effect is sort of just thrown together, I probably would spend more time on this if it was actually for a film. But I'm just trying to give you guys the, the gist of the effect to let you guys know how to actually do it and then you can just mess around with it however you want in your own software if you're using Mondashare as well. I'm not too sure how similar these settings are with other editing softwares but hopefully most of the stuff is actually the same or similar but yeah as I said I'm not spending too much time on this because it's not for a big film but I think this looks pretty good for a video that I'm just showing a tutorial for but yeah i'm going to do some minor improvements here so i'm just going to go to the effects and i'm going to go to filters and all that sort of stuff just to make my video look better this is totally all up to you guys if you want to do this sort of stuff but i'll be right back with you when i'm done touching up my video all right guys i'm back touching up my video i've just added a bit of a filter to my video and some cinematic bars and I also added just a dissolve effect at the start and a dissolve effect at the end just to sort of conclude the video properly. That's basically it for the visual effect itself. But if you want to make it more realistic, I'm assuming this is something you guys may do, but this is all totally up to you guys, is I'm just going to add some sound effects to my video and maybe you guys will do the same. But I'll be back with you when I'm done putting some sounds to my video. guys I just finished adding some sounds to the video they aren't super amazing I kind of just did some random sound and just sort of pitched them up and down and stuff but it's up to you what sounds you use these are just the sounds that I use anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you with your hologram effects and now I'm gonna show you the final product see ya <laughs>